Hello, and welcome back to another instalment of And One Beers. You must try before you die. Yes, very, very well orchestrated there. Um, we are here to review a beer from Belgium, and this is really interesting. I've got very few beers left from Belgium to review in the book. Uh, I've got a, a number in my stash, but the, the beers are still yet to source. There's only eight mm. left to source. You've so been a proper is, Belgian beast. I have actually really, I mean, to be my, honest... Much that trip we did to Ghent helped make it... Yeah, that really, impressive those 17 day. beers in Ghent really did uh, that, help break the back of that, <laughs> that list quite quite considerably. Well, what, a, what a trip that was. Oh, that was Wonderful. great, yeah. But we did not find this beer there, so we're going to have a go at it now. Uh, first brewed in 1999, so it's not an old Belgian brewer, uh, Belgian beer. And it's 7%, and it is... Should we like to show it? Brunholt St. Martin Blonde. It's from Brasserie Brunholt, um, which is here, as you can see. Um, quite, a, quite a pleasing little bottle. I, I love these bottles. I really love... I love these bottles with this kind of... Uh, the, the sort of... The, I don't know what you would call it. Sort of dimpled look. Uh, it's very, very nice. So would you like to open that and pour it? So I put my would. Glass over there for so all the blame is going to be on me Indeed, when we bold, get there. Because it is, it, is bold, it is bottle conditions. Uh, label mess. Tasting notes. Hazy. Oh, hello. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Hazy orangey. That's Moby what the Dick. beer tells are for. Hazy orangey, golden coloured brew that pours with a very big head. Yes. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm on top of this. I'm on top of this. Good lad. Aroma. Mm, here we go. Here we go. Ar- aroma is yeasty, spicy with some fruitiness and hop character. Flavour is light citrus with a fruity, honey, and mild bitterness. A good beer to pair with funky cheeses such as brie and camembert. I have neither. Funky cheeses? I have some cheddar. <laughs> Cathedral City? That'll do. No, I've actually got a good cheddar, but... No Cathedral City. Okay, we've got... I don't know how much of the condition... Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's... I'm going to say we go with these... Yep. And we leave that in the bottle. Fine. Um, I'm fine with that. So let's talk about the design first. Classic kind of, even though first brewery is nineteen ninety nine, the actual brewery started uh, a lot a lot earlier. It's been going for long. It's a link to an abbey. Um, there's some interesting information about. So we'll talk about that in a bit. Um, but that looks nice. Yeah, say. it's it's got a, a nice traditional looking label. Ticks the boxes. Yeah. It's got a picture of an abbey or something on the front. It looks churchy. Abbey St Martin. Yeah. Okay. Let's go for the smell. Belgium. It does smell Belgium. <laughs> There's just some smells. <laughs> it's, like, it's Belgium. It's I think this banana, is... I think, when, I, think, I think when we taste this, it will be... It will taste like a Belgian. It will taste... I think... It will be a classic like Belgian it. ale. That's, that is what I'm going to predict. So, so cheers. Yeah. Yeah, Belgium. but quite smooth. Quite a nice smooth block. It's a blonde, so it's obviously an easier going beer. Yeah. Um, it's not as sweet and cloying as a lot of these kind of Belgian blonde beers can no, be. No, I like so this. This, this is, is good. This is more drinkable. I have, as you've probably heard me mention in previous reviews when we come across these, I, I'm never massively keen on the Belgian blondes. Um but this one is... Decent. This one's decent, yeah. It's easy. It's, it's an easy going one, isn't mm. it? It's not... Within the sphere of um, Belgian blondes, as in not that easy going compared to most other blonde beers, but it's far easier going in the context of Belgian blondes. This yeah. is actually relatively, relatively decent sipping beer. Yeah, I think I can enjoy this one. So there's a sort of grassy taste to it. Not, mm. not quite. If I say size on, obviously that would be a bit silly. But there's, it has there's, got that. There's, there's, there's a sort of has grass, got that farmhousey, farmhousey taste a to it. Yeah, it does edge to it. Yeah. Uh, I, I think that's nice. I think it's a nice taste. Um, it's quite, yeah, it's quite clean. Quite easy going. There, there is, there's that slight element of bananas mixed with fairy liquid um, that I don't quite like. Um, but it's relatively minor and it's more of a, it's more of a characteristic rather than an overriding mm. flavour. So, yep. yeah, yeah it's, fair, it's fair enough. For me, that's high praise. Yeah, I'd say it's a decent, decent, they've made a decent fist for Belgian Blonde there. Hmm. Um so interesting about the brewery, it says this forward thinking brewery has survived two world wars and a bankruptcy. Um, uh, it says that uh, the, the brewery was, uh, the brewery started in 1890, so it's been around okay. for quite some time. Uh, but it's so, the brewery is so far out in the middle of nowhere, the German army did not discover it. 
or it's or it's beautiful. Well, that gives light to German efficiency, doesn't it? Uh, or and did not discover its beautiful copper kettles during World War One, okay. uh, and they're still using the same copper kettles. Oh, okay, that's cool. that's interesting. Yep. Uh, the in nineteen ninety, it was bought up by two brewers. Uh, then they went bankrupt, and this guy uh, Antoine de Mies stepped yeah, in. It's Belgian. This Guy. Huh? Never mind. Guy. G Y in Belgian is Guy. Didn't say Guy. You said, you said Mies. This, you said this guy. Never mind. Oh God. <sighs> um. It's... The fact he went on for that long, I should have just killed it. I should have said, "Yeah, yeah. James, carry on." Um, so Martin Blonde is an officially recognised Abbey beer, so it is. It does, oh, okay. Does cool. make a difference. Mm-hmm. So, uh, cause some, cause, and there it has the seal there. I'll show you there, Quinn. I'll show you there on camera. No, you won't, because it's all gone a bit weird and palsy. There we go. It's is it the red thing? Is it? Well, or, oh, it's the one underneath. I think it's a combination of both. The one, the one that looks like the jizzing pint. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Since 2006, the output has increased by two-thirds. Um, they have they stopped using stainless steel kegs. They're now using recyclable kegs. Uh, I'm going to guess those are key kegs. Plastic. Yeah. How recyclable is that? Well, there must be something. They say special recyclable kegs, which are 30 times less carbon footprint than their stainless steel brethren. Yeah, well, you can wash stainless steel, can't you? Anyway, well, we don't know. We don't know. We don't. We don't know. It's plastic. It doesn't say plastic. Well, that's true. I'm just going to throw my prejudices in. Um, Why not? Ah, uh, interesting. Is the 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 brewer's wife is a farmer and she grows all the barley for the brewery. Oh, that's good facts. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, I think it's a good beer. Oh, it's, it's, good, a, it's a, so, it's a solid Fair Belgian enough. blonde. It's not offensive. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have any of those tastes of Belgian blonde that I dislike. Yeah. Think we're done. Yeah, I think that's a good one. We're okay. going to leave it there. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you for another beer review very, very soon. Goodbye. Van Damme.